Hey guys, Captain C.A. Richardson here for Flats Class YouTube. What are we going to talk about today? Well, I'm just returning back from my favorite fishing tackle retailer, Sodium Fishing. And while I was there, I ended up picking up a little bit of Power Pro. That's right. This is the Super Slick 8V2 in the 30 pound range. You're saying, oh, you're probably going to put that on a bait casting reel. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to put it on a spinning reel, the Shimano Saragossa 8000 SW. Why am I doing that? Because we're going tarpon fishing. So I'm going to go back to my shop and set up two rigs, one that I use for freelining crabs and the other one that I use for floating either um, large pilchards or thread fins or a little bit bigger crab in deeper zones. So while I set those two rigs up, go check out some of this awesome action that we just had with Low Morrison aboard Captain Dave Lacey's boat in Boca Grande, Florida. I think you'll be entertained. We got one. <laughs> Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. Got low on the rod, out here dipping crabs, and he throws a crab over the side. He's hooked up. Confirmed, Captain. Confirmed. It's a big pilcher. It's it's definitely a big pilchard. Definitely a big pilcher. Pretty cool action, uh, and that's an everyday deal there in uh, Boca Grande, Southwest Florida, where you can you can drift crabs and catch fish. Whether you're doing it on the beach, or if you're doing it in the pass or on the hill, it's a lot of fun. A uh, big thanks goes out to Captain Dave Lacey for having us aboard his boat and taking us out there so that we could uh, have a great experience over the Memorial Day weekend. All right, back to business. Let's talk about that braid and why we're using it. So, a, a typical rig for me, for fishing, I'm going to say shallower tarpon. And what I mean by that are tarpon that are in 20 feet or maybe even 25 feet or less. This is the rig. This is the Terramar XX. This is the extra heavy eight foot. There's the specs right there, guys. Now this is my preferred rod. I've got this on a Saragossa. This is the 8,000 Saragossa, all right? And I've loaded it with 30 pound Power Pro, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. Typically, and I know I talk about artificials all the time, but when you're live bait fishing for tarpon, which many of you are, you guys wanna have a, a good hookup ratio, I use about, I'm gonna say five feet of leader and in this particular case I've got 50 pound leader I tie it to 30 pound power pro super slick 8 v2 and I've got a Yucatan knot right there 
I use a float lots of times, and especially with customers, I want them to be able to know where their bait is in relation to the group of fish that we're tossing to. Helps me out, helps them out. So we go down five feet here. Luckily, my barn is tall. And then I Palomar on a seven aught, sometimes six, but mostly a seven aught. This is a trocar hook, super sharp. You remember from a few seasons ago, you saw one of these go through my hand. So they're super sharp. This is the typical setup. Eight foot rod, extra heavy, uh, 8,000 size reel, five foot a liter, um, 50 pound fluoro. Now, when the fish are tough, like they are right now, currently, when you have clear water, lack of rainfall, fish are finicky. Gotta use smaller baits, smaller crabs. Um, when I do that, I drop down to this rig. It's the same rod, same reel, same braid line, okay? It's still the uh, Terramar Double X. It's still the extra heavy, not the extra, extra heavy, but the extra heavy, all right? I have five feet a liter on this one as well. And what I didn't mention in the first one, I'll mention in this one, you will notice that I have a bimini there, okay? Double line. Then I have my Yucatan again, which is kind of standard for me. I like those long tags. See those long tags? Those long tags are important because you're gonna put a lot of pressure on this. Now this, this leader material is only 40 pounds. This is a proprietary leader um, that I'm testing because Flats Class is actually gonna have its own fluorocarbon. That's right, you'll be able to buy our own fluorocarbon. Then I put it on a five aught lighter wire circle hook. Now this is, a, a, a hook that I can snell if you look here closely. So I snell it and then I put a dab of glue on it so that it won't come off. And again, I leave a longer tag, if you will, there. So this is lighter for a smaller crab to drag around. That's the whole reason for having a smaller circle. So the smaller circle, the smaller crab, same rod reel line setup, except for the leader is a little lighter. You got to do what you got to do to get a bite. Okay, so uh, good stuff there. Now you're probably saying, what do you do when you're fishing like Boca Grand Pass? Well, I didn't get hooked up. Lisa got hooked up. Lo got hooked up two or three times. Julie got hooked up, Dave's wife. Um, the only one that didn't get hooked up were actually the Captain and Blondie. We didn't get hooked up and I had some heavy action rods out there. Uh, here's one that I use for the Skyway Bridge, Egmont Key. Uh, Boca Grand Pass, anywhere I have deeper than 20 to 25 foot of water. Those other rods are more or less beach rods. These are intercoastal rods, shipping channel rods. This is the Terramar Double X, okay, if you will, right here. And this is the extra, extra heavy. Those are the stats right there. You're going to want this rod because this rod makes a difference. I have the 10,000 Saragossa for this style rod because you need to be able to put some heat on these fish. Typically, I, I load these up because we're, we're dr deep dropping and drifting, so casting distance doesn't matter nearly as much. I put 50 pound Power Pro uh, Super Slick V2 on these. Now, when we come back, we're gonna talk more about that Power Pro and why I use it. In the meantime, go back and see the results of our labor, or at least Lowe's labor, in the next couple of video segments. Be right back. I'm gonna see a little summer again right here. Uh, yeah. That's what we want. Two more of those. You can get your leader touch. <laughs> then I'll put some gloves on. Someone else can take the eye. There's the dog. We got the leader. Keep that camera going.
There she goes. All right, first of all, I'm gonna apologize for the plumber's crack, you know? I'm on vacation, a little less than professional. Give me some, or cut me some slack, I should say. All right, the end result was awesome. A little tougher to reach over the side of a big bay boat like that versus reaching over the side of my Hell's Bay Marquesa. Um, but I got a hold of the fish for low uh, so that we could have that great grip and grin picture. I love the face grab picture and uh, we always keep those fish wet. We never bring them all the way out of the water. We just lift their heads up for a quick photo and then we make sure that we revive the fish and let them go at good speed. All right, hope you enjoyed that, that little clip. Those live clips of the action so that you can see what's going on really helps us out when I'm giving you these fishing tips. So let's talk a little bit about that line. Why do I use Power Pro 30 pound Super Slick 8 V2? Well, I decided to actually put it on a board so that you could see it. That way, if you wanna take a quick picture of this, you can, but I'm gonna read it to you. I've had it up here long enough for you to freeze the frame or take a picture with your phone. Number one, the biggest reason is it casts farther. I wanna have the advantage of staying away from the fish, especially when I'm beach fishing, as far away as possible. I mean, that's a giant advantage of getting that extra bite or two or three that you might need in a day of tarpon fishing, especially with clients or your family and friends, um, because many of us get too close to the tarpon because we can't cast that far, especially with the light crabs and not much weight. Now you can cheat a little bit, bonus tip, with some split shot to give it a little bit more casting distance, but it's a lot easier if you're just using a little bit lighter line. I know it's very difficult to put more than 30 pounds of pressure on a fish, so I'm not afraid to use 30 pound Power Pro um, Super Slick, because for me, I tie good knots. I don't worry about it. Um, it also reduces line noise. That noise that you get from other braids that going through the guides, going through the roller, going through the tip, even in the water, it just makes more noise. This stuff is super slick, like silky smooth. Um, very strong under pressure. I'm sure if I test my Power Pro, it's gonna test out a little higher uh, than 30. So it's going to be strong that way. I like the marine blue color. A lot of guys talk about why do you pick that blue? But when you consider that I'm throwing the, 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 the cast over the top of fish and the blue up against the sky is hard for them to see, I don't spook as many using that color. So I like it. Uh, and, and probably lastly, it's just seems to be trouble free for me. I mean, the advantage of the 30 pound and making the cast, I don't get wind knots. You know, you're not casting like you're casting with artificials with this stuff either, which we will do a video on that one here very shortly because a lot of you, as soon as we start getting a little bit more rain, when that water gets a little more eh, stanky, uh, we're going to do that video too. And I'll have some footage for you. But just these setups, using that Power Pro 30 pound braid, I'm telling you, you're gonna jump some tarp in this season. Don't let this summer get out uh, too far ahead of you and you don't go out there and try it. Tarpon fishing is not that complicated. It really isn't. I'd go a time or two with a guide just to understand the whole drill on how to handle the fish, how to approach the fish and learn the etiquette because there's a lot of poor etiquette out there. But once you get that down, you can go on your own. This stuff is not that difficult to do. Just have the right equipment. You'll have a lot of success. Again, if you like what you're seeing here at Flaps Class YouTube, I want you guys to give us the big like thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and subscribe. Tell everybody about this channel. We're giving free information, fishing tips, product reviews, adventure stuff that I do all the time with other guides and uh, friends and family that I go fishing with. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. We try to give you a value here and it's all free. It's all absolutely free. We don't, we don't ask for anything. So, apologize again for the plumber's crack. Till next time, Captain C.A. Richardson signing off from Flat, Flats, uh, Flats Class YouTube.